It's another day in the neighborhood. Another day in the neighborhood. Another day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Another awful day in the neighborhood, actually. Uh, but what we do have is the ability to create Sailor Moon. And she will stand guard over our, uh, our crops, so we no longer have to worry about crows. That's such a good sprite, too. Honestly, it's a ridiculously good sprite. So today's plan. Uh, check the traveling cart. Traveling cart, uh, if it has anything good, spend money on it. Check the bar. If the bar has anything good, spend money on it. If neither of those things have things that we need, all of the money goes into clock, uh, cauliflower. Uh, okay, stop fucking up. Cauliflower. And then once we're kitted out on cauliflower, it's just wait till good luck days, and then every time it's a good luck day, go to the uh, mines and delve as deep as humanly possible. Simple strategy, but quite unbreakable. Hey, yeah, uh, Totoro. I hear ya. Absolutely a phenomenal sprite. Now I'm learning that apparently leaving the stumps gives the possibility of seeds dropping nearby. Which means we're just gonna leave a fuck ton of stumps everywhere and collect the seeds. That makes sense. Oh, and sunfish, right. Now, sunfish are rivers, right? You know what? We, we can do that. 35, yeah. We'll go back. We'll empty our inventory, we'll pick up the fishing rod. Throw that down, throw that down. Don't need the axe, don't need the say. Pick up that, hold on to that, hold on to that. Sell the sap. Sap. Perpetually not needed. And how many sunfish do we need? Three sunfish, okay. Not what I would have focused on, but, you know, whatever. Oh, um. Now, is there a worthwhile endeavor in going and getting the spring onions? Two spring onions. That's a fucking travesty is what that is. Yeah, no, not going and getting spring onions. Right, what do we got here? Puffer fish might be worth picking up. Rare seed we're going to deal with later. Now, 
Now, buffer fish we can catch in the summer. Kale not worth it, beet crap. Yeah, no. And a rare seed we can have uh, better luck uh, maximizing our value of a rare seed later. So we are going to spend all of our money All of our money's going into, uh, cauliflower. Spend a little bit of time fishing firsthand. be done in three casts. Wouldn't that be excellent? Nope. Eat. We'll pull them out of the river and eat them. That's... I mean, unless you've got like some sort of Japanese chefs preparing it in a sashimi style. I don't know, man. This is a sunfish. Brilliant. No! Cocksucker. Give me tasty fish. Legitimately so good. It's such a good It's so good grandma's image is so good Like it worth oh, It's your birthday today, isn't it Pierre? Shit Jody has some, like, actual cleavage. That's... That is 100% resultant of that, uh... Pierre, uh, it's, he's not Pierre, that is, not, oh, but he does like dandelions. Sir, I just found this right over there. You're welcome. That gave me a, yeah, heart with him. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's wrap up the fishing. Let's talk to these guys, I guess. Hello. Just dot dot dot, you have nothing to say to me? Go fuck yourself too, Harvey. We need one more sunfish. Mm. So my... 
caramel maple, my salted caramel maple mix. It gets better as you drink it. I think that's, uh, I think that's true of most drinks. Actually, pretty good. You throw it on ice, you splash it, uh, press it, I guess would be the right term. Press means add a splash of water for those of you who are non bartenders. Because, you know, I'm definitely a bartender. I lied about it on my resume once. <laughs> That's a lie. I didn't lie about it on my resume once. I lied about it on my resume like eight times. They just kept hiring me. I worked for two of the nicest Japanese restaurants. There we go. Sunfish. Jody. How you doing? I don't know why I talked to you again. For some reason I panicked and thought I hadn't talked to you. Now, where is Will I Am? have muscles or not, so... No! Oh, wait. Fucking... Alright, well... I don't think you ever caught one the size of a baby cow. But... You gave me a sun... You gave me a reward for catching sunfish. Sure, I will take it. It is a nice day. It's a beautiful day. It is the epitome of uh, contradictions here, because I'm playing spring in the middle of winter. Maru looks way better. Sure as fuck, I'm not gonna. You know what? She looks good enough that I might actually take an interest in her this time. This. There's so many good icons. So many good icons. I fucking love Gus too. And these are all so good. I'm so glad I installed this mod. This was the step one towards having amazing uh, productivity. Why productivity? Because you're inspired to work hard when these people are, are the ones you're working for. Alright, so. Perfect. Sunfish, we don't have. Anchor, we don't have. Muscle, we don't have. Rusty Spur, we don't have. Phenomenal. The Sunfish, we'll probably use as energy. We'll grab that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, we got lots of. Lots of space for him. Eat the other sunfish. 
Willie was so kind as to let us keep our sunfish, so fuck it, we'll capitalize on that. Three more, eh? Alright, well. Alright, 820? Damn, son. Where'd you find this? It's Plutter Axe. Let's go chop down some more trees. We really do want to push for level 4. I think it's level 4. Yeah, it's level 4 and level 8. Level 4 is the important level for foraging. After that, simple matter of uh, not having to worry about the rest of this shit, because the rest of this shit should be pretty straightforward. Extremely productive day, actually. It's hard to argue that. Especially when Sailor Moon is guarding your crops. Like, what do you say to that? And we looked at this, right? This is stir fry. Yeah, okay. okay, okay, okay. Uh, yes. It's not about the fact that we got 70 gold, it's about the fact that we're getting any gold. What is this bullshit bad luck 18,000 days in a row? We might have a whole fuck ton of parsnips ready in time for the mines. Round two. Uh, round one. Fuck, round one of the mines. And with it being Monday, we don't have to worry about any sort of, uh, traveling carriage or any sort of spending of cash so we don't have to worry about having money on hand for anything for bundles until Friday. plant any more crops until we actually uh, harvest some of these, which might be as soon as tomorrow, but almost using a full inventory, or a full bar of, in uh, full bar of energy to take care of this shit. Alright, 
That is all wrapped up. Now what? I think we go and empty our shit into the, uh... Yeah, let's, let's empty the, uh... Empty yonder inventory into community bundles. Give us a good opportunity to just buy some space. It's not gonna deal. It's not gonna unlock anything, but it will clear out a whole bunch of shit. mouth bass. You know what? We can uh, we'll accept it. We can kill two birds with one bass in this situation. We will need a bass on hand for when we deal with uh, Jody. So might as well, I mean, if we get a hundred caps for plant or crap, oh my gosh. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Okay. So the chub we don't need yet. The shad and the sunfish we can throw in there. We can throw those three things in there. Perfect. Which means what we will do is we will also grab steps yet. Kind of wondering if I should have, instead of the 17... Uh, instead of maxing out, like, 17... Cauliflowers? If it would have been a better idea to do more... Just thinking out loud. Might have been better to do more parsnips, because we do need the five gold parsnips. Alright, well, let's go and secure ourselves a, a largemouth bass. Or eight. If we're gonna maximize uh, efficiency, Ooh. leak. Ooh, a gold leak. Look at that. Seventy-two energy. That is what we're talking about, oh, sir. Two-ish casts. I think that's not bad. No, 
up at odds. I was gonna say not bad odds of catching a large mouth bass, but when we're pulling up garbage like algaes. Carp, yeah. We don't actually care about getting perfects for the largemouth bass. What we care about is the fact that you get three times the experience for perfecting a fish. Three times the fuck up. Okay. We might as well spend a second fishing. As well. we continue to buy ourselves one or two extra casts each time, I'll continue fishing. There are mods I saw for immediately, automatically catching fish, the ignore fishing catching game. It's like, eh. Really guys? game that difficult for you? That'd be a good- I wonder if mods work in multiplayer. Oh, oh wait, wait, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh. oh no! You cocksucking son of a bitch! I fucked up. Fucked up big time. Absolute cocksucker. Alright. That completely fucks me. Well, that completely fucks me. We uh, So what we need to hope is tomorrow is not a good luck day. Which is the weirdest thing to hope. We want tomorrow to be an awful luck day. Yeah, we're taking a luck uh, break from working. No! No! Start the day. fucking robbed. First and foremost, really. Give me your shit. No, it's not an exciting catch. 
cost me friendship with everybody. I'm salty. I'm salty as the sea. The fucking highway robbery there. Accidentally wound up exhausted. Lost the fish. Farmer. A skateboarder. Oh, your earrings are really nice too. You know mods are good when they blow the developers out of the water. If I had two grand to buy, to sell on a, an exhausted thing, I would, but... Yeah, two grand, I'd go fuck yourself! Alright, so throw that in there, throw that in there. Copper, we... And now that we've got copper, we'll get the Clint cutscene tomorrow, which is good. It's good. We'll put the uh, algae in there. We'll put the bass in there. We'll put a bass in here. Well, we can't shake the exhausted, I don't think. I don't think it matters how early we go to bed. I don't think we can shake exhausted. Which means tomorrow's energy is going to be real fucked. chop more pine trees we'll chop more pine trees we'll hope for more pine seeds pine cones like that and in doing so we should theoretically be able to rejuvenate more field snacks Wasting our fucking energy, sir. Every time we get a pine cone and we eat a oops, uh, field snack, we are in the positive. trade, really, to think about, but... Right. Well, let's blow our energy down to... I mean, we've already gone past zero, so to effectively zero. And then go to bed. Seven, five, four, two, zero. Yeah, zero. Zero and exhausted. Well, what a... Fuckery of a day. Oh well. Not much we can do about that, I guess. Alright, well, till next time, guys. Later.